Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So today Google has started rolling out Android 14 Developer Preview 2. Last month Android 14 Developer Preview 1 was released. In today's video, we'll talk about all the new add-ons, what Google have done with the Pixel smartphones when it comes to Android 14. And I don't recommend any of you guys to update to Developer Previews because they do have stability issues. So now without wasting any more time, let's dive into the video. So here I have my Pixel 6a on which I have already installed Developer Preview 2. Let me show you the software information if you go to about section. Android is upside down cake which is Android 14. But if you tap on Android version you still get to see the Android 13 easter egg. Hopefully with beta builds we might get to see newer easter egg. It comes with 5th March 2023 security patch and the build number is .004. And guys we have done a detailed video on the initial features which were added with Android 14 so we won't be covering them. I'll leave that video link in the description below. Make sure to watch that video to know more features about Android 14. And now before moving ahead if you guys like a content and you think it's useful for you then make sure to subscribe and also smash that like button. That will motivate us in making better content with quality. So soon you update your device first thing what you guys gonna notice there is a change in the pop-up of system update which says your device has received a custom update. As far as I remember it used to say previously that system update is successful. So this is one change which you guys gonna notice soon you update your device. And the second change is related to at glance. So here if you see on the lock screen now the temperature appears towards the right side which generally used to appear towards the bottom side on the lock screen and the home screen. But due to some reason sometimes this thing moves towards the bottom side and sometimes it goes towards the right side. So the features what Google is testing out it is not sure that these features will continue to stay on upcoming builds there might be changes which you guys might see in upcoming builds of Android 14. Let me show you the same on always on display too. So let me enable that and turn off the screen and here you can see the same thing appears on the always on display also. But due to some reason I don't know why it disappeared from the home screen as you can see here. But soon I installed Android 14 the temperature was towards the right side or you can say in a single line. After that some minor tweaks have been done in the quick setting tiles. So here if you swipe down the quick setting tiles or you can say the notification panel on DP1 we used to get the estimated time in the status bar. But that's not the case now. You have to swipe down entire quick setting panel to note down the estimated battery life. Also in the quick setting tiles now if you tap on battery saver it will also show you which profile is being used under battery saver. So for example I have set extreme and that shows here if I long press and change it to standard battery saver now it says standard. Also you'll find a noticeable change in the media control. For example, if I tap on the pause or play button, you can see an animation effect which wasn't present on the initial build of Android 14 which was developer preview 1. Also if you tap on the audio output devices, here you can see a noticeable change. If I slide the volume panel, you can see it shows percentage now and if I mute it, it shows the mute icon towards the left side. After that major change what you guys gonna find and that's under wallpaper and style section. So here under wallpaper and style section under basic colors now we have a new color code which is black and white and this is how it appears you can see here on the screen I have applied the same thing later if you scroll down there are AOD clock settings but right now this is not accessible hope in future we might get to see different clock styles for the AOD or the lock screen and another change is under wallpaper section so for example if you have any live wallpaper or if you apply any wallpaper Tapping on it, now we have the completely redesigned section. Towards the top side it says set wallpaper and here you get to see the information about the wallpaper. You can see the preview just by tapping on the home screen and lock screen. And if you have any live wallpaper, you can also get few additional options to customize it that basically are seen in the gloom wallpaper section. So if you are applying any live wallpaper towards the top side, you get to see this download icon and from here itself you can delete the same thing. Now the back gesture also have the support of material U which you can see here and initially we only used to see this arrow but now it is in a pill shape icon and as I said it now supports material U. So let me select and color and now if you see the color automatically got changed. 
and some users also claim that predictive back gestures do work but i did not find it working on my pixel c say it may or may not work for some users i've seen few users reporting that it is working on their device but as i told you guys it isn't stable right now so we might get to see more changes or improvements in the upcoming builds when we are talking about the navigation buttons so now we have a new section for navigation which comes under system instead of gestures so here you can see we have a different section for navigation previously which was under the gesture section tapping on it we have the similar stuff what we used to see under gestures and there's a new feature added which can be found in the notification section if you swipe down there's a feature called flash notification here you can use the camera flash which we have seen on iphones from a long time so if you receive any notification camera flash will trigger and there's also a screen flash notification option under flash notifications there are also some colors which you can choose from so for example let's choose this red one and if you want to see a preview this is how it's going to look i mostly don't prefer the camera flash notification but screen flash is a good add-on then if you go to battery section here also little bit of changes are done the graph doesn't used to appear this way on beta 1 but now it has been again changed as i've been saying you guys these are not the final implementation google can change a lot of things but here there's a change if you tap on the graph it will show you the screen time for 12 pm up to now and if you tap again it will show you the screen time since the last full charge and if you also upload any photos for example let's upload a photo on facebook if i tap on photo or video let's allow access now you can see there's a new tab called select photos before it was allow once or do not allow but now you can just give access to this selected photos which you want to share other than that you won't be able to share any photos also now if you capture a screenshot and tap on share the nearby share option have been removed instead of that we only get to see this edit option going to privacy and security now under every setting in privacy and security we do get to see a header image so for example under app security here you can see a image if you go to device lock there's also a header image going down under account security also we have a header image and it continues on the other settings too for system and update also we have a header image at last talking about the language and input so if you go to language and input there is a section called regional preferences so from here you can make changes in the temperature units default option is available if you want you can set it to degree celsius or degree fahrenheit and the same thing goes for the first day of week and numbers so these are some of the changes which we have found out on android 14 developer preview 2 if you guys still have any kind of questions you guys can let us know in the comment section below i'll try to do an in-depth review on this build and soon we'll post that video as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.